Welcome to BulkReefSupply.com. This is a demonstration of our 150 gallon per day upgrade kit. This kit will upgrade your standard 75 gallon a day system into a 150 gallon a day system. The demonstration you are watching is based on the RO units that we sell, but this can be done to other brands as well. This upgrade requires that you have at least 65 PSI going into the first membrane to function properly. If your home's water isn't that high, this can be achieved by using a booster pump. This kit includes the following items, one 75 gallon a day Dow Film Tech membrane, a Y hose splitter, two bracket clips for your RO housing, one RO housing, two 90s, as well as a check valve 90, and five feet of tube in four different colors. You won't need all this tube, but it's nice to have in case you make a mistake. And we include all the colors so it matches any system. The first step is to clip on your RO canister. Make sure that it's on the same direction as the other one. And just push down. Now locate the red line that's coming out of your carbon blocks down below and falls around into the first membrane. Remove that red line and insert it into the membrane above. Next you're going to insert the waistline into the 90 that's on the outermost surface of the membrane housing. In this arrangement it would be the one on the top and then insert the waistline tube. And then take the other end of the tube and feed it into the intake of the lower membrane. This means that we're going to take the wastewater that's leaving the first membrane and use it to feed the second membrane. Next we're going to take our Y fitting and cut a couple of small pieces of tube for it. One tube that's on the Y side is going to slide into the new filtered water end of the first membrane. Then we're going to remove the blue line from the auto shutoff valve of the lower membrane, cut it a little bit shorter, insert it into the other side of the Y, and then insert the single end of the Y into the auto shutoff valve. This is going to allow us to take the filtered water lines out of both of the membranes and connect them together going into the auto shutoff valve. The conversion is now complete. To reiterate what we've done here is we've taken the line that comes out of the carbon block down below and we've rerouted it to feed the new membrane. The new filtered water then leaves the membrane and connects with the filtered water from the other membrane into one hose. The wastewater, instead of going down the drain, is used to feed the second membrane. This allows the unit to operate more efficiently and produce less wastewater in comparison to filtered water.